Yeah, I'm going to plant the yam seedling. I've been so busy that I was not um, lagging in uh, planting this uh, uh, yam seed. I should have done that earlier, but nevertheless, this is still within the time. This is still uh, early beginning of uh, April. And uh, I've done the sack a uh, few weeks ago. But today I'm going to uh, make sure I get the seed uh, planted. So uh, I welcome you to the channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Hit on the notification button so that anytime I make an upload, you'll be notified. Like my video, share my video. Uh, you can see the seedling, the yam seedling. This has stayed uh, uh, over months after the harvest, uh, sometime uh, uh, December. December. So it's about uh, four months now. November, December, four months now. So it has gone through the dormancy period. And you can see the trellis. The trellis have uh, developed. And now it's due to plant. Uh, please, before you plant, make sure you are planting viable seed. Seed that when you plant, you sure it will grow, it will not decay. If you plant the seed that is not viable, be assured that if the seed is going to decay right inside the bag. Now you can see all of them. Most of some of them have started uh, uh, growing. Have uh, developed the trellis. Uh, uh, there are some steps that you are going to take while uh, doing the planting. First, you can see this uh, uh, yam seedling. I'm not going to plant the full of this. I'm going to divide it into two. So why I'm trying to make my division, you can see I can divide into two, but I'm not going to cut it like this. I'm not going to put my hand at a 90 like this. I'm going to put it at an angle. I have to slice, slant my hand, make the cut. You can see I've made, I've made the cut. You can see I've cut this and I'm going to plant these two separately and they're going to give me a very good result I haven't cut this i will not plant this straight if i plant it like this there's every tendency that this might decay here and if we start decaying all microorganisms and microorganisms will start eating it and before you know it you affect the output from this so i'm going to what i will do is that i've prepared uh, i've prepared the uh, a, a solution here this solution is a uh, wood ash wood ash mixed with water so this is going to give a coating a coating to this very yam seedling with this coating the yam will be preserved intact it will not be decayed so i'm going to see what i'm going to do i'm going to dip it right inside I dip it right inside you can see this you can see it like this and it's now safe to plant. And this one, again, I dip it right inside and it's now safe to plant. Then, having done that, the next thing you are going to do is that you are going to pick the, the, the seed, the yam seed. You are going to pick, choose the yam seed and then place them, place them place them on the sack before planting you are going to consider the size of the sack the size of the sack so i can place this one here and i can place this one here and i can equally place this one here so i'm going to make sure i place the yam all through before i start the planting Place 
Essis. This one is too big. I have to divide this. Cut it like this. Dip it here. Same thing here. This long, big bag, this one long, put in the big bag. This one, too long, I will cut it. Like this. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I will complete the whole process. Make sure each bag gets a seedling according to its size. Having done that, the next thing is to start planting. Stay connected. I have finished putting yam in each of the uh, bags. You can see it. All the all the yam, all the bag has yam inside. Some I put two into one. You can see two in one because the one I one is too uh, one of these is too small. So I have to uh, utilize the bag size by adding extra one. Some are two, some are one. You can see if you go to you see that all the bags are covered with a uh, yam you can see this one you can see this one i put special uh, yam here with a view of having a special harvest here so now i've done this the next thing is for me to bury the yam watch out what i will do now for the small one, I'm going to use knife. I see me. Oops. See the knife.
Yeah, again. Foot knife. You can see, I still have some space up. This space, I'm going to fill it with. At the end of the plant, I'm going to fill it with soil. That is why I did not fully cover this. After planting, I'm going to fill it up with sand.
You can see in each of them, I did not bury the yam right inside. You can see. 
I did not bury it right inside because as I bury it like this, it will have the opportunity to go down. It has a lot of way downward to to develop. So don't avoid burying the yam so deep right inside the sack. It's okay, like this. This is the end of the planting. The next thing is to cover the place, fill up the, the sack, fill it up with soil. Stay tuned. Now, we are now filling, fill it very well, filling the sack, filling the bag, filling it to the brim. Every of the bag will be filled, fully filled. Fully. Not yet filled. Get more, yes. Fill it to the brim. Yes. Get more of it. So at the end of the day, all the bags will be fully filled. You can see these ones have been filled already. These ones have been filled. This one have been filled. So all the bags will be fully filled. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Hit on the notification button so that anytime I make upload, you'll be notified. God bless you. Bye for now.